look at that fabrication, it's beautiful. So that'd be a pretty cool part to have exposed. So when you pull up behind, <laughs> we need to cut the rear bumper out or just not even run a rear bumper. So that is exposed, that looks insane. gonna wake her up for noise and also look super bitching. So you can see the fabrication is beautiful. Gonna give us some more noise. The Mad Lab, mate, everything's gotta be, from the Mad Lab, everything's gotta be loud. We like loud rotary, so we gotta make loud V10s. It's the first. beautiful so that'd be a pretty cool part to have exposed so when you pull up behind the Lamborghini and the light you're just looking at all of that of course is a, a huge performance upgrade however on the Huracan Lamborghini already specced our Huracan with their full sports race exhaust so this um, may not give us any more performance but what it is going to give us is looks I mean you can just see the beautiful welds and all the stainless which is making me think instantly to cut the rear bumper up. So all this beautiful fabrication is actually exposed to the public when they pull up behind the Lamborghini. You see this, it's gonna make a statement. <laughs> Even all the internal joins and seams are extremely, as nice as the outside. Shiny parts, all. Uh... Oh, here it is, Mikey. Check this out. You got a loud pedal, and now you got a loud button. Oh, what? So that controls, by the looks of all this, it controls the solenoid on the exhaust. Oh, okay, so it doesn't run off the factory one. No. Nah. Sick. <laughs> Just push the button. And then... <laughs> Open her up. What, what so we've got a little ECU, this looks like the, yep, that's looks it. Like the ECU little brain. So we'll plug into this, we've got a little remote. So that just flicks the valve around, so you can see here. So a vacuum is going to pull that actuator, close off a valve or open it up, and then make the exhaust gases either go the loud way or the quiet way. And that's simply push of a button. It's pretty freaking cool. But really, this is probably pointless for you. Yeah, because it's always going to be on <laughs> yeah. loud mode. <laughs> wow. Sick. To tackle the exhaust system, a lot of stuff got to come out to be able to get in there. Potentially the motor, lift the motor up a little bit, so it's quite a bit of work. Undo these O2 sensors, yeah. and then that looks like EGT. Should be, yeah, that'll be EGT O2. Oh, there's another one down there. Yeah, no, that yeah, but that but the joins are that's just going to be shiny, which we're going to lose by the airbox anyway. Yeah. You know, so no, just, just, just this bit. yeah. Well, let's take these off, see what's inside first. Yeah, whether it's like a full cat system. Yeah, should be a straight through. Yep, 
do those and then put it up into place. Yeah. But that's a... It's a fit. Straight in. Straight in. That's a... That's freaking insane. Is that a dream result? That's a yeah, very simple task for us actually because it's just undoing nuts and bolts. Very simple. When you get often when people sell you something that's a bolt on, and I think throughout this whole build we're seeing with all these all these supplied parts, the quality of it is just making our life easier because it is a true bolt on, and that's a testament I suppose to the quality that's being supplied because not often that stuff just does that. Oh, yes, we almost don't even run that freaking middle second. We need to cut the rear bumper out or just not even run a rear bumper. So that is exposed, that looks insane. Fuck, how freaking cool is that? So I mean, this has made it really simple for us. The FI exhaust system is actually a literally bolt-in job and it saves us a lot of work. You can see the beautiful fabrication, the bends, just how easy it fits in, and then the performance and sound. Now I just can't wait to hit that start button. Sounds cool. <laughs> what are you talking? As you as it sounds like. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh,